Okay, so I'm in a bathroom because uh, I prefer to solder these in the bathroom. Everything in here is tile. So if something really crazy were to happen, hopefully there's not that much flammable stuff nearby. That being said, I kind of just laid all this crap out. Uh, this is an AW2000. Uh, I actually dug it out of the trash to make this video. This is a battery that I had tested soldering on before I went to my good batteries. Uh, as you can see, I've already soldered the negative in. I burned the insulation, unfortunately. Doesn't matter because I was throwing it away anyway. Let's see if I can focus. Uh, what you're thinking right now probably is, well, where's your wire? It must not have been a good solder. Uh, it actually was. The wire broke off before the solder did when I was removing the tape from the battery after pulling it out of the trash can. Uh, before I throw any kind of high voltage battery, or high output battery away, I wrap it in tape so that I don't get any nasty fires in my trash. Uh, this is the result of taking off the tape. Uh, the wire broke, but as you can see the solder is still just fine. So anyway, uh, I've actually already sanded this a little bit uh, back when I was practicing, but I'm going to go ahead and do that again just to get the tape residue and whatnot off. So I've got this little piece of, uh, I think it's 100 grit sandpaper. And all you need to do is just give it a good scrub. You don't have to be crazy with it, but you do want the surface to be rough. Um, I would advise against brushing this dust away with your skin. Use some tissue or something that doesn't have skin oil on it. You don't want any grease or residue preventing from getting a good solid connection. So. Some handy dandy toilet paper. Okay, so that's relatively clean. As you can see here, I have just a, this is an eight, no, that's a 20 gauge wire and an alligator clip, which I've just soldered to a paper clip. I use this for holding my wire. Uh, this is just standard Rosencore solder. Cheap stuff. And what I do is I actually use my roll on the sink to hold the battery upright for me. So I'm going to go ahead and tin my wire. This guy will just stay put. Ah, also important, my tip's not very clean. I don't bring my sponges or anything into the bathroom, so I'm just going to razor blade it real quick. Real simple. Not perfect at all. Not what I would do for any kind of extremely important job. Not that I do that many anyway. But it will get the tip clean enough that I can throw some rosin core on it, which will flux the tip for me and hopefully clean away. So far it has cleaned away any excess junk. So there's my solder. I'm just going to focus for you. Stick the wire in there. Get it nice and tinned. That's done. Okay, now set up my battery. See if I can zoom in. Okay, I've got my battery set up the way I want it. I'm going to put my iron near where I need it. I have this piece of solder in my hand. This is cooling. As you can see, it's tinned almost too much 
that's how I want it to be because it's going to stick to the battery much easier this way. I'm going to scrape my iron one more time and then tin it again. Only what I'll do this time is I'll put a lot of solder directly on the tip. Now I'm trying to do this while looking through the camera and it might not work out too well. But here goes. I'm going to put a large amount of solder on this tip. And once I get about a glob of it, I'm going to directly drop it onto the battery. Wait for a second. And that's it. The battery is now tinned. Feel it? Battery's not hot. You can see I'm holding it. Battery's not hot at all. And I've got that nice glob. And that glob, I'll tell you, it is on there. Now, tricky part. Not too tricky. I'm not even going to clean the iron again. I'm just going to take a little piece of solder that I have left, tin my tip one more time, and I'm going to quickly take my wire, place it here, remelt my tinned battery, and drop the wire down in. Hold it. Done. Once again, check the battery for excess heat. You can tell that didn't take long. That's that. And a quick test. I'm pulling, 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 pulling. I'm pulling really hard. <laughs> and it's not coming out. It is connected. And you can see here. Let me try to. Are you hot? No, not hot. Unplug my iron. Maybe you can see. The battery is, in fact, the terminal itself is touching the wire. My camera is a cell phone and it's not going to work, but anyway, there you have it. That's how to do it.